the only time I ever heard the story, it was something like 2006 I heard it. Who stole your bag in Germany, I think it was, in 2002? Well, that I'll never know. Until this day, I have no idea. It wasn't in Germany. It was actually at College Station, Texas. Oh. Yeah, so... Yeah, it, it was an awful experience. I don't know. I heard rumor that Kurt Hennig took the bag and threw it in the garbage or did something with it, took it back to Minneapolis with, I don't know, man. And I don't want to think that because I, God rest Kurt's soul. I love Kurt. And I was, you know, it's so ironic that I looked up to him. You know, I met my dad and his dad were, were great friends, you know, Larry the Axe Hennig. Uh, I met Kurt when he was a young, I think, 19, 20 year old. I was a younger kid then uh, in Portland, Oregon, when the, those wrestlers would come through the territory. Um, and um, I, you know, I worked with Kurt, you know, in WCW with that cheesy moniker, stealing his gimmick, basically. But I just have so much utmost respect for Kurt Hennig and to, to think that he might have been behind that was just heartbreaking. Please, please don't tell me that, you know, and I never know. He never admitted anything i mean he said no i had nothing to do with it i because you know everyone approached him on that i had everything in that bag uh, it was that was a nightmare oh my god i had probably eight thousand dollars worth of valuables in there and the reason why i had that with me is because on that wrestling loop before the one i was on that had my bag stolen uh, i had gone back to boise idaho to visit some old friends and my college wrestling coach and his family and i had like you know, just uh, uh, a camcorder and more tapes, you know, <laughs> you know, me and tapes and tape recorders. Um, in fact, I don't know, maybe I'm recording right now. Well, I'm I certainly at... am. I can I can guarantee you that at least. Huh? I, I'm, I certainly am. So I can guarantee you that at least. So anyway, I don't know. I don't I hope I hope not. Uh, but I never that bag never got recovered. And I had ID money, credit card. It was just a nightmare to go through that. I had a, I was after 9-11 too, and I had to travel from, I think, either Florida, Houston or Dallas to back to Tampa where I lived at the time. And I, it was just so weird to go back with no, my carry on was missing. I had everything in there. So that was, I, I want to think that Kurt had nothing to do with it. That some scumbag at the airport stole it and hopefully they got some value out of it. Uh, Randy Orton said that he thought it may have been Kurt, but he didn't know he wasn't there. But, um, was there any ribs that Kurt Hennig did on you that you can definitely attribute to him? No, I mean, other than just him uh, acting up in the ring and making goofy faces at me when I'm trying to be serious. And uh, he and I tagged together. Uh, we were actually in, in England, I, I believe, uh, working against the Hardy Boys. And he was supposed to be on the ground selling. I was supposed to be over there concerned to help my partner up. And he's making these goofy faces. And I'm trying to not laugh. And he was just, you know... No, nothing that really stands out other than him just being a clown and make it, trying to make me laugh. Hmm. And he said he loved my dad and, and he grew up around my father too. My dad knew Kurt when he was just a little kid, you know, when he'd probably go over to uh, Larry's house or they'd travel together. He had little Kurt Henning running around, you know. So I think there was that bond uh, or um, mutual respect just for the, the second generation thing that was that existed between him and I. Well, let's blame Randy Orton then, because he 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 was quick to pass the blame on somebody else. So let's say he stole it. Hey, and if that's true, that's a storyline in itself, because he's the legend killer, and I'm all about embracing legends. I think him and I could make a lot of money, I'll be honest. I, I worked with Randy a little bit when he was a rookie, doing dark matches, and we had some good chemistry. Now, I love Randy Orton. I always I follow him and uh, always pulling for him, and uh, I'm proud of what he's become. Um, but yeah, I'm always open to the right business, James. Well, there I'm you go. Open. I mean, there you go. That's a ready-made storyline. If you ever get back into the ring, then.